Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make some delicious pork tostadas. So in case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. So for this recipe, we're going to need two pounds of boneless pork sirloin roast, three Roma tomatoes, five chile de arbol, three chile guajillos, five garlic cloves, three bay leaves, one small white onion, one teaspoon of oregano, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, a half a teaspoon of ground cumin, your choice of corn tortillas, salt, and oil. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to start by cutting our meat into small pieces. So I'm going to cut into four pieces, and then into another half. So just so I can have big chunks of meat like that. Okay, so once we have our meat cut, we're going to season it with our salt. All right, so next we're going to grab a deep saucepan and we're going to place our meat. Just like that. Okay. All right, so with my meat, I'm going to add three quarters of our onion and I just cut it into small pieces like that and just break it down. Okay, we're going to add our three bay leaves, three garlic cloves, and we're going to cover our meat with water. So about five cups of water, and now we're going to place it in our stove. All right, so we're going to set it on medium heat and once that begins to come to a boil, we're going to cover it. All right guys, so once your meat begins to boil, we're going to lower down the setting to the low setting, and now we're going to cover it and let that cook for about an hour and a half to two hours. All right guys, so after two hours, our meat should be nice and tender. So now we're going to remove it from our broth. Let me show you guys. See, it's super tender. So now we're just going to remove it from the broth I'm going to put in a plate so like that we could let it cool down for a little bit and then we can shred it. And we're going to get one cup of our broth. All right guys, so just make sure that you get one cup of our broth. All right guys, so now for our sauce, we're going to wash our guajillos and remove the seeds and the vein. So once you have done that, we're going to get our tomatoes and we're going to cut them in half. All right, so then for your onion, we're just going to separate it. Okay, just like that. Now we have everything, we are ready to fry. All right guys, so now I'm going to get a small frying pan. I'm going to set it on medium heat. I added two teaspoons of oil. And now we're going to add our tomatoes. So add your tomatoes, your onions, your two garlic cloves, our chile guajillos, and our chile de arbol. So we're just going to wait for that to heat up and then we're going, and then we can move on to the next step. So while we wait, we can start shredding our meat. All right, so once that begins to sizzle, we're going to move it around. Flip your, flip your tomatoes over. And so after a couple minutes, we're going to add our broth. We're going to add our cumin, our oregano, and our chicken bouillon. So just move it all around. Now we're going to cover it and let that cook for five minutes. All right guys, so after five minutes, your sauce should be done. So now we're just going to let it cool down for a little bit before we blend it. So now I'm going to add everything into my blender. Along with all of our broth. So 
now we're going to blend everything together until we have a smooth sauce. All right, so once everything is nice and blend, we are ready to put it together with our pork. All right, so I'm going to grab my small pan. I'm going to set it on medium heat. And once that heats up, we're going to transfer our sauce. Make sure you grab all of it. Okay. And next we're going to add our pork. So now just make sure that your pork gets coated with the sauce. Okay, now I'm going to lower it down to the low setting. I'm going to cover it and let that cook for about 10 minutes. All right, so while we wait for our pork, we're going to make our tostadas. So the small frying pan, I'm going to set it on medium heat. I'm going to add a little bit of our oil. And once that heats up, we're going to throw in our tortilla. All right guys, so once your oil is hot enough, we're going to dip our tortilla. And we're going to fry it until it turns into a beautiful golden color. All right, so once our whole tortilla is nice and golden like this, we're just going to drain the excess oil and place it on a kitchen towel. And now we're just going to repeat the process until we have reached the desired amount of tostadas that we're making. All right, so meanwhile, you can turn off your pork. It should be nice and done already, so just turn it off. All right guys, so now we are ready for the fun part. So I'm going to start by placing some Mexican shredded cheese on top of my tostada. And of course the topping is gonna be all optional to your liking. Next I'm going to place my delicious pork on top. I'm going to drizzle some crema fresca. Going to top it with some lettuce. Some queso fresco. Some cherry tomatoes. and slices of avocado. I'm going to add some more queso fresco on top. And now we are ready to enjoy our delicious tostada de puerco. All right guys, so now for the best part, the taste test. I am so ready. Super delicious. It's just perfect. Alrighty guys, and there you have it. I have to make some delicious pork tostadas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. And if you're creating this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh yeah. yeah. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, eres perfecta.